This is the uh, Federal Signal Model 2 completely restored siren. I had the motor rewound, rewound, and uh, looks practically brand new, especially for its age, around 86. I was able to get the nut back on, as you can see in there. It did a pretty good job in there. Uh, whole thing is meter blasted, even the uh, cast iron legs, right. and to uh, prevent them from rusting, actually had to prime them, which is pretty much just uh, zinc chromate, same stuff that is used on aircraft. So, the motor is free wound. Commutator is uh, redone. It just looks a little darker because I just like to spin it a lot. And uh, new brushes. And hopefully out there are the correct ones, unlike the other ones. Um, I I got bearings for it. However, the uh, inner diameter was a little too small. Or a little too big, I should say. And the shaft would just fit too loose on this, so I just had a, no choice but to put the old ones back on until I get the correct size bearings. Let's take a look at the wiring job. Yeah, it's not the best, but it'll work. I just want to see if it, if it uh, spins. So I just twisted them together, and I got 120 volts. And if it spins, we'll see. Maybe I'll put uh, 240. Once I get access to uh, 240 volts, because the dryer and air conditioner and stuff. Alright, so, here we go. I'm only going to plug in it for a few seconds, because of the neighbors. Here we go. What the hell? Let's try that one more time. That's odd. This one, I just had this thing rewound and it's making that noise. My theory is that they probably wired this for a direct current. I'm guessing that they have wired it for direct current. Because when I hook it up to a, a 12 volt battery, when I hook it up to a 12 volt battery, this is what happens. So my only guess is they probably wired this for uh, direct current at uh, 240 volts, which I do not know how the, how the, uh, you know what, I can get 240 volts direct current is. So I don't know if they wired it mistake, mis uh, incorrectly or if, they, or if the original motor that was in here before I sent, sent it over was direct current. So I'm going to call them up and... Or if you guys can help me out and figure out why it does that, or if, or if I just wired it incorrectly. If I did it incorrectly, hopefully one of you guys can uh, tell me why it works on the 12 volt battery, but it doesn't not work on 120 volts. So hopefully you guys can. Tell me why it's doing this, and if it, and or maybe I just have to uh, send it out to uh, to the shop and get it wired for alternating current. So, I guess in the meantime, this is where my siren is at now. So, thanks for watching, and hopefully you guys can figure figure out why it's doing that.